This is Mama Lottie's, Mama's in the Kitchen. Buenos dias guys and welcome back to Mama Lottie's Kitchen. I'm so happy to be here today and I'm really excited to be joined by Mari Almeida who's going to help me cook three beautiful dishes today. Welcome to the Hopefully. show, Mari. Thank yes. you. Thanks no. for having me. No, I'm so happy to have you. Let's Tell me what... <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sure it's going to come out really fine. It's it's gonna be, everything's going to be delicious. So tell me first, what are we making to start? Well, to start off, we're making some soup. Broccoli and, uh, and Stilton cheese soup. So we start this week off with a strong, creamy, robust Stilton and broccoli soup that's really going to satisfy your taste buds. We need to melt a knob of butter. Just a little bit, no? See. Okay. What sort of heat temperature do we need for this? Just low, low heat. We don't want it to burn. So while that's melting, we're going to what? That's dice right. up with the We're going to dice broccoli? that as small as you can. And that's yeah. we're going to fry that with the butter? See. That's right. You can do the potato while, while I'll do you the wait. potatoes in the meantime. That's right. So the potatoes need to be uh, Peel peeled. them and cut them in very small pieces. So tell me, whilst I'm doing this, where did you learn this recipe? Believe it or not, I've only done it once or twice because I went to a restaurant and I tasted it and I liked the idea. Now, nobody likes it at home, just me. And I thought my husband will not eat it, but then, because of the cheese, it gave it a, a different uh, so you taste. Because you know that broccoli can be very blunt. Yeah. But if you add the cheese, it will give it that kick that it needs. I like cheese, so that's good. See? <laughs> <laughs> and believe it or not, he liked it, so I've made it a couple of times later. And that's what I thought of something new that I haven't... Uh, but it's something that you, you tried trial and error, no? See, that's right. And so you've been cooking, what, for with many years with your mum? Uh, no, no, I uh, never cooked to save my life, never. <laughs> I uh, started cooking once I got married. Oh, wow. I remember thinking, what am I going to do? And that's, uh, and baking, just a couple of, a few years ago when I bought, when I went into the internet and uh, I saw you people. <laughs> doing the cooking and that's what I thought, well if they can, why can't I? I finished the broccoli now and now I'm doing the leeks. Okay. Cutting them in small pieces, yeah? One whole leek? Yes. I've peeled the two potatoes. We're See, that, that's okay. Both that's of fine. Them. That gives it a little bit of texture. Okay, well the butter's um, melted, so what's the next right, step? So we do, we cut the, cut the potato in, in little... So little chunks. Little chunks. And these are going to sort of stew together. Just toss it. Yeah. In the butter Ooh. with the yeah. nutmeg, salt, and pepper. Nutmeg, salt, and pepper. Okay. So at home, is your family more of the, of the savory type? Yes. Then, but more yes. Like yes. And then the, and if they if they want uh, a dessert, they are uh, fresh fruits or whatever. But not they're not into cakes and sweet things, not that much. That's why I've never bothered to do any any baking really. Mm. Uh, in my house, it's more cakes yeah, and baking. I know. And try. <laughs> I've made soup, but I've never made this soup before. I think we should turn the hob up a bit. Yeah, right. So I'm going to turn it up to five or six. I've added half the nutmeg so that's not too strong. See. But we can always adjust it as mm -hmm. we go along. Yeah. So we don't need to add any liquid at, the, at this point. Not at this point, though. No. Okay, so we'll leave that to stew for a minute mm -hmm. so that everything's fries together. We've got to move it around. I've got a spoon ready. Then we should add some more butter, okay? So we can just keep adding things as we go along until we're sort of happy. How long does this need to be there for? Well, five minutes or so, we just to toss it enough in the, in the butter okay. so it gets the, the gets taste the of the butter. How come we're adding nutmeg to it? Because I've never added nutmeg to soup before. Because the broccoli is very blunt. But mm. it's something which is optional. I, I tried it without it and with it and it tasted better. But that's because I like that spice. Okay. But if you don't like it, then you don't have to. You add something else. Oh, well, I like it. Like Brussels sprouts, when everyone See. complains about them. Yes, if you boil them, they're not tasty, but if you boil them with some garlic, some That's bacon, it. something That's else, right. yeah. it changes it completely. So we use Stilton with this, but you could you could use anything. Tea, any, any cheese, you, cheese like. you want to. But if you need that little bit of a kick, it's better to go for the strong cheese. The stronger the cheese, the See, better. The better. Okay, okay, now I think we should add the... We're going to add the stock. The stock, yes. Okay, well... The smell is already coming through I and know, it's really I know, fragrant. I know. We added about a litre of the stock See, in there. That's right. Is, well, cardamom. You can always dilute it with water if you don't want it that strong. Mari, I'm going to check this because it's been there See, for about 10 minutes now. That's right. See. So have a look at it. 
It looks Oof. good. You can smell the nutmeg in yeah, there yeah, and the broccoli, good. everything's you together. We're gonna add the cheese We're now. We're gonna eat the cheese, yeah. Have you had these before? Okay. Smell it, smell it. It's very strong, that's It cheese, is eh? very strong. So we're, gonna, we're cutting off the edges, aren't we? That's right, see. So do you want me to chop that up? And yes, you can please. check if the soup yes. is, is ready there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I just dicing this up, you know, small pieces? See, to, for it to so crumble. Using, it, it will crumble once it goes in. That's okay. So this is what, Stilton cheese then? That's right, see. Because I think it, it's Because it's really one of the strongest one there is to give it that little... And it's very soft. ...flavour, see. We're going to add half, you said, no? Uh, I think I would put the whole thing in. I okay. mean, if you find it a bit too strong, you can always add more water to it. Because otherwise we're going to blend it and add the cream anyway, which That's is right, going to which soften is soften it, yes. soften the flavour a bit if it's See. too strong. At home, does anyone help you when you're cooking? <laughs> or are you or you're the... I do it on my own. I'd rather, I'd rather do it on my own and have any <laughs> help. My kitchen is too small. And uh, we're just getting each other's nerves anyway. <laughs> <laughs> too many kitchens. In fact, even when he does his, the cooking, yeah. which is very rare, I've got to leave him on his own. Because if we bump into each other, he gets... Too many people otherwise. See. <laughs> like, get out of the way, move! <laughs> Wait okay. till it melts, till the whole cheese is melted. Okay. Like that, and then we're so once the cheese is melted, processed. we're going to add it into the processor. That's right, yes. Bit by bit, so that we can then... Uh, right. Blend See, we all need a, a bigger bowl. I've got your bigger bowl here. Though. Yeah, that's right. So, how's that looking? Mm, smell. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's made a difference, isn't it? Yeah, and it's gone all really creamy. See, the cheese has melted that's right. instantly. Yeah. I think that's looking all right. Just go ahead and start processing. See. So we're going to add the vegetables first to that. I think it's better because that way you can get the the consistency that you like. Eh? Otherwise, if, if it's if it's too much liquid. There's nothing more you can do. Yeah. But you have it like that, but always you can always add to it. Yep. We blended this already, so I think that's looking That's right. Good. So it's we're best to do it little by little, otherwise it will overflow. We're not gonna add the cream yet to it though. No no not. So we're gonna use up all the vegetable that's in the in the pot and once that's done we'll come back to all the soup that's in the bowl. That's right, see. We'll I think that, that I think that uh, we can add some liquid to it because it looks more or less how I want it. Is this going to be a very cream, very liquidy soup? Is it going to be more like a um, sort of potage consistency? No, no, no. It, it can be whatever you like. That's the idea. That, that's why I There's always no leave the liquid for, for... Because if you want it really thick, you can have it thick. If you want it, it all depends how much liquid you add to it. We'll put this back and we'll continue until the whole pot's done. That's right, yeah. We're going to add the rest of it in the bowl and then we add the cream directly in the bowl. Into the bowl, so it, okay. it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if you add no. it into the food processor no, 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 no. or into the bowl. you can add it at any time. Tell me when to stop in case it gets See. too watery. No, it looks great. Okay. Yeah. We're going to add the cream now, okay? So how much cream are we using? Is it s as much as you want. And is it single or double cream? This is single. Okay. You can add double, you can add uh, any other kind of... Or you cannot add any at all. It's up to you. We added it because it was a bit too, it was a bit strong. This is almost finished. We're going to plate it up and serve it. Leave it to one side so we can try it at the end. And next, we're going to try the dessert, which is a apple and pram strudel. And that has to be in the, in the oven for half an hour. Si. So while that's in the oven, we can move on to the main dish, which is the wagyu yeah. rellenos. Perfect. Join us in part two when we get sweet with some strudel and we prepare our brilliant boquerone relleno. Welcome back. Our soup is done, but before we move on to our main dish, we'll first prepare our dessert, as that's going to need some time in the oven. And what a treat Mary has in store for us, rich heartwarming apple and plum strudel. Mary, I'm excited for this because I've never made a strudel before. Where is so Mary? I've only done it once, so this Next is... Uh, okay, now we've got our um, plum. Yeah. And uh, apple in here. Yes, all Hunted chopped, up, small, very all chopped up. Now we're going to try and crush the walnuts. Okay. Right. We can use this. The whole walnuts, just sort of break them down into little pieces. That's right, otherwise it will go through the pastry and it's not, it doesn't well, look nice here. Yeah? We're going to use what? Filo pastry for this? Filo pastry, yes. Which is the very thin one. That's the really very delicate. thin, yes. Once we put everything, we're going to what? Put everything inside? All together, right? 
So we're going to add this. Sounds pretty simple, really. Very simple. <laughs> so we're adding the walnuts in with the apple and the plums. That's right. And everything in there. So now here I've got some yeah. dry fruit. We we'll add that to it as well. Which is mixed peel, sultanas, raisins. That's right. See. Okay. We we'll add some sugar, brown sugar. Yeah, some brown yes, sugar. Quite easy. So brown sugar and white sugar? So white sugar, we'll use it for the outside of the pastry. Ah, uh, not inside. Okay. No, no. And here we're going to add some cinnamon and mixed spice. Yeah? We're going to add it Which together and give, give it a, a lovely, really good smell, lovely flavor. Fragrance. Yeah. But you said you, you haven't baked. Or you don't bake much now. I don't. I don't bake. We well, hardly bake at all. It's yeah. only uh, you know now uh, recently that I've started doing it. I still need to get the confidence. To be, it's one thing that I would like to do is to be able to do a good pastry. That I still have to get the. Well, from scratch. From scratch. Well, yes. Past pastry. We're gonna fold it over the bottom. That's right. That's it. that's the one I would <laughs> like to try one day. I've never made it from scratch. No, it you need like a lot of patience. You have to leave it in the fridge for ages and everything. That's so. right. See. What we're going to do now is prepare the pastry. Now we're going to put this. It's easier to roll the pastry with the paper. With the greaseproof paper. That's right, otherwise it will stick to the... That's a good trick to, to have. Now this is a trick a bit. You're going to teach Because sometimes the pastry comes out quite well, but other times it's a bit dry and it will, it will break. You just unroll it. Try and find the, the center of it. We're not going to use all the sheets. We're going to start off with three. Yeah. Three sheets, and then we'll see how it goes. Now we need the butter. That's we're going to use that to, to brush. So we're going to dab, that's right. We're just going so to dab the paint a little time. bit. That's right, to so be able to get it just to stick together, see. Okay, so we're just dabbing the butter on the sheet. Doesn't dab have to it be and then you spray it, otherwise you break the pastry. If you try and spray it when it's dry, and then you just... That's a neat trick then. Okay for the sort of stuffing that we're going to use for That's this. That's right. We're going to use plums, apple, nutmeg, cinnamon, but you could use any, anything, anything, anything that you like. To. Any kind of a, a fruit that you enjoy, you can add, you know? And you could even make it savoury if you wanted to. See, oh see, I've done it. Yeah. I've, done, I've done it with uh, minced meat. Okay. And, and uh, spices in it. But I've done the little square ones, not actually. Not this big. No. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little sugar. Just a pinch in there. Yeah, just slightly. Okay. And sprinkle it around, okay. And now we'll just try and add. Okay, now watch out here. Now this is more or less a calculo because it's not, you don't si, want to overdo it. it. You don't want to underdo no, it either. No, that's right. You must leave the edges, leave the edges to be able to so fold about five over. centimeters from each side. That's right, one side only. Okay. Okay, so show me how to fold now, this. Now, what I usually do is you lift up yeah okay and you take it over and pull in so squish it in together yeah okay that's it and now what we do is we add a little bit of butter on the sides fold the sides so see if we can do that one yeah like that Fold the sides over yeah and then just carry on rolling and it's, it's handy to use the greaseproof paper at this point. That's right. Because it yeah. helps you roll. Okay. Not it. <laughs> I would have probably not made, bad, a, not bad. made a big mess of it. No. <laughs> now, because it's so thin, you can always now, what you do is you, you get another couple of layers. Yeah. But this time you can put one on top of the other without the same size as the, oh, so okay. that you don't get the extra paste, pastry on the sides. And yes. this is going to go into the oven. Which we, we preheated before. Preheated at 170 fan oven. And we're going to leave that for how long did we say? About 30 minutes. That's going to give off a very you know, strong yeah. smell coming out the oven with the cinnamon there. Definitely. You can use any kind of fruit, whatever fruit you like. Tal la fruta del bosque, which is really nice as well. Or the raspberries or the... Sí, but I, I would advise it to have the, um, the fresh one. Not the, not the frozen. frozen one because then there's too much too liquid much coming through released. and it will damage the so pastry. So always it's best to use a fresh, fresh See, uh, that's fruit. right. Now for the steam to come out, you've got to do a few cuts. Deep cuts? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to slice diagonally that's down right. the center of the pastry. Uh -huh. Now we add a little butter yeah. to brown it up. We put sugar on it. You can sprinkle the sugar if you want to. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah? 
Hope I don't put too much. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's sweeter anyway. I'm going to put this in the oven then. Once that's baking, we'll move on to the main dish, which is avocado. Which is avocado, yes. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to go do that. Okay. Then. Right. Okay. So with our strudel baking away in the oven for 30 minutes at 170 degrees, it's time to get fishy with our boquerones rellenos, a staple of any Gibraltarian family feast. Well, I'm at it. The strudel is baking in the oven. It is. So it's gonna, we're going to move on to the boquerones rellenos. There's two ways of doing it. You can either cut the head off. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> or just snap the head off, whatever way you like. I'll okay? cut it just in case. Yeah. Yeah. And then with your finger, you slide it up the belly, open it up. Yeah. Mine's That's it. Mine's snap the bone at the top. At the tail end. See, carry on cutting, open up. Yeah. My wind's Just slide your finger up. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. you just pull slightly. Now at this time, if the fish opens up in the middle, it doesn't matter because the uh, relleno will keep it together. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to give that a so try. So you want to give it another try? Because I didn't mind spitting it out more? almost. <laughs> That's right. It's is slippery. It is. Yeah. That's good. I got the, the last one you did. I got a little truco to it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now that we've got all our fish done, we're going to add some salt to it. To the fish? That's right. Okay. okay. Just to season. Okay. If you like, you do it. Yeah. You do it, and I'll tell you when to stop. That's it, okay? Yeah. We start with the mixture. We'll do, yeah, we'll do the stuffing, so I'm going to put that out the way for the moment. Okay. And the stuffing, we're going to use ham. We're going to put the ham, Yeah. a little bit of mixed herbs, the cheese, and the garlic. What kind of cheese are we using? We're using Edam, the hot Edam cheese. The hot Edam, which is so. very popular in Gibraltar. That's we'll right. use that for That's stuffing, right. for the serga, for, the, the serga, for, for everything. <laughs> for everything, and in fact, if you buy another kind, another make, my husband would be the first one to notice it right away. This is not the one you usually buy, he says. <laughs> it's got a very um, a distinct taste. See, it has. See. So okay. here we have the ham. So yeah. we diced, we diced up the ham. That's right. We'll add the cheese now. It doesn't into matter the, the amount. I've got about half a pound here okay. and half of ham. But it all depends how much fish you're going to, obviously. If you buy, that's half a kilo. If you buy a kilo, obviously, you have to do a bit more. Now I'm going to add some mixed herbs. Okay, just a pinch okay. in there. Again, it's up to your liking. If you like it, then you can add more. And we're going to add the garlic to it. We're going to crush the garlic? Yes. Is it just because it's easier or does it give it a different taste? It's easier. No, it's easier. I don't like adding the eggs straight away into the mixture because if, if one, one of, of the eggs bad. is not, then, you know, it would spoil the whole... Uh, so it's always best to... Pour it separately, beat it separately. That's right. So we're going to beat that together. Mix it really well, yeah. And we'll see how it goes. If we find that it's too dry, you can always add another egg. Now the stuffing like, is much like the soup. We can, and the strudel can be done slightly different. So Completely you, different. Of ham, if you Completely want to use different. It all depends to your, your liking. If you want to add mortadella, for example, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or a different kind of cheese, or you can. It doesn't matter. My family prefers this one. Yeah. Doesn't it, matter how many different ones I try, they will always go for no, 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 the original one, Grandma, the original one. Done there. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit to combine it all together. We're going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs. Now is this fresh breadcrumbs? See, okay. it's fresh breadcrumb. I Sorry. usually put it in the grill and leave it there for a few days. And when it gets hard, I use my food processor. That's my granny's trick as well. I think it's the That's best right. Thing. And it then it goes different. in the uh, freezer, in yeah. in bags. And because it doesn't it freeze, you can use it straight from the freezer if you want it to. It doesn't freeze? No. Oh, it's like the cheese. The cheese can be... If you leave it in the fridge, they will go bad. They will start getting that greeny... Yeah, mold. If you leave it in the, in the freezer, then you can use it straight away. Right, I'll make sure it's ready now. Yes. So now we'll, we'll We're going to stuff these. That's right, see. Are we gonna, where are we going to lay these out? And then? put them in the tray. Where's the tray? In the tray? Oh, I'll get the tray ah, for you. Good. Okay. Yeah. Right, we need the flour as well. We'll put the flour here. So this is only quite a fiddly bit. It is. Yeah. And messy. So are you ready to get your hands dirty? I'm ready, I'm ready. Venga, okay. <laughs> Venga. okay. Open it up and put it on the palm of your hand. I'm sure you've done this before, no? I've done it before. I've, just ah, never, well then. I've never cut them before. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't matter. Exp you can yes. explain to me how you do it. I'll just put a little clay in there. Okay. And 
and that goes in the now if it opens as i said before never mind because the stuffing will keep it together you just mold it with your hands and then we'll lay this out and, yeah, yeah. It to and once this is all done we're going to fry it in the hot oil which we put quite a, quite a bit there because it's going to be deep fried see okay so i'm going to just let the oil heat up once we do that Mani, the oil looks like it's hot and ready for frying. It does. So shall we prepare the we're gonna prepare it, yes. Tell me, are we putting the stuffing face facing down? Facing up. Face up. Facing up. Okay. Face up. Okay. That's it. That'll do. Now the oil doesn't shouldn't be too hot. No, otherwise it'd burn. But it, and so you should have enough oil cook. to cover everything entirely, is that, is that right? Try not okay. to put too much on it because otherwise it would take longer to, to cook. Okay, so we'll put about five a time. Uh, see a few more. Okay, five. Okay. So we'll wait for five minutes until these go golden. Two. But we also had some macarones and some stuffing left over. That's right. So we pre we prepared these... The single ones. So you, single you ones. Normally what they do is they fry them in bunches of three. Okay. If you run out of stuffing, no problem. You just fry them like that. And no problem. You just dip it in the oil. At the same time? Yeah. And I also made some patties with the... Without the fish. You know, with the stuffing See. that was just there, which can be enjoyed on the side. See, of course. We're not going to throw it away. That's why these things are quite easy, because you can always add or take away to it. It doesn't need to be precise on anything. Mm. These you can also enjoy them cold, it doesn't have See, to be hot. of course, hot. of course. So they're good for pack lunches, for schools For anything. Well. Mine doesn't get a chance to get cold. <laughs> Everyone just takes it straight away. I think they seem away. to smell it, they all <laughs> come round and they... I prefer it uh, uh, hot. Okay, well, I think we should finish these off, take these out. And the strudel is smelling like it's almost done in the oven. See. So we should go check that. It's about done, see. And I think it's time that we plate all these up and give everything a try. Time for Maddie and I to fry up the rest of our boquerones and complete our amazing trio of delicious dishes. For that extra touch of creaminess, we add some cream to our soup. Beautiful. Our strudel has come up tops, and we finish it off with a superb sprinkle of caster sugar. So let's give these a try, because I'm excited to try Let's give these. it a try. Shall we start with the soup? We'll start with the yeah? soup. Okay. Mmm, okay. it's really nice, eh? Mm. Nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. The cheese is strong, but it's not too strong. No. And um, if it turns out a little bit strong, then you can always add a little bit more of water and, and dilute it a little bit more. Before you serve it. Before you serve it. Shall we try the work on this? Mm hmm Oh my god. These remind me similar to my granny's. Oh yeah. So Nicer. You can't go wrong with these. They've cooled down already a bit, so they're perfect warm or cold. Or even fresh, fresh up the, the frying pan. This is the best bit now, not the desserts. It is. <laughs> so let's try the strudel. Will you do the honor of cutting the strudel? You want me yes, to cut it? Yes. So let's cut it in half, yeah. Oh, wow, the crunch on that. That's it, okay. So we have to have a sharp knife for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can serve it with hot custard, which is my, I prefer it. What, on top? Yes, okay. ice cream or, in this case, cream, yes? Okay, we're in them. I'll give that a try. Okay. It's nice. Spicy. Mm. Nice and warm. Mm. Nice cold evening, yeah? Mm, good. With some custard or a nice... Uh, it's really warm in the middle. Nice the hot drink. The pastry is nice and crunchy. And mm. the cinnamon really comes through, eh? Cake of the, of the big uh, spices as well. And the little cake behind, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a dish which I'm going to serve up as dessert. Why not? Yeah. Let's finish the plates off and then we can... Adiós mi dieta. Mari, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for being on the show with me. I'm sure everyone at home had a great time watching thank this. Thank you, I enjoyed it. Yes, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Because I want to try more of your desserts since you don't make desserts, but this has come out amazing. Maybe you do one for Christmas, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. there's, there's an idea. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us this week. If you've loved everything, please let me know. Send me a message on Facebook, you know, tell me on Twitter. 
And if you really want to see some more, because I think you do, because these have all come out amazing, then join me next week where I've got another mama coming over and she's going to surprise me with three more dishes. So I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Thank you so much. If you'd like to check out more delicious recipes, check out Mama Lottie's Gibraltar's online cookbook on Facebook or head to mamalottie's.com. Until next time, bon appetit!